Okay, friends, I'm going to be real with you for a minute. There's one thing that you absolutely have to have to be successful as an online business owner. It's not flashy. It's not considered the newest, coolest thing, not the most recent social media trend, but it is an absolute necessity and continues to stay steady as the number one form of effective marketing in the online space. And that is an email list. Now I know, I know email may sound like the most outdated, boring thing ever, but just stay with me for a few minutes here. And believe me when I tell you that starting to grow grow and promote through my email list was one of the key decisions I made that skyrocketed my revenue and continues to bring in sales for me over and over again. I wish I had leaned into this sooner and can only hope that I can convey to you how truly important this is no matter what stage you're at in your online business journey. So in this video, I'm going through the steps of how to build an email list from square one using your Etsy shop. Let's dive in. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. So glad you're here as always. If this is your first time here, I'm Kate. I'm a wife, mom, Etsy seller, and business coach, and I'm here to help you start and scale your online business so that you can make a full-time income doing what you love. So there are so many reasons why I think every online business owner should have an email list at some point, but I do wanna let you know if you're just starting out on Etsy, or maybe you haven't even opened your shop yet and you're just considering becoming an Etsy seller, this is definitely not a necessity from day one. There are other things that you would want to focus on in the beginning to build up your shop and get your shop up and running. But at some point you do need to think about starting to build your email list because this is, like I said before, going to become your most effective form of marketing. So even though you can have success without an email list from the beginning, I would recommend that you lean into this as early in the process as possible. So I want to let you know why I love email marketing so much. Reason number one is that with email marketing, you own your email list. As much as we all love Etsy and Facebook and Instagram and all the different platforms we use, the hard truth is that we don't own any of those platforms. It's basically like we're using rented space when we're operating on one of those. Like it or not, one day your Etsy shop could just be shut down and that would be out of your control. All of your social media accounts are dependent on that social media platform's algorithm. So you could be banned or you could be suspended. And if that were to ever happen, you would have no way of reaching your contacts in your business to continue the relationship with them. With email marketing, you own your email list so the people that sign up and subscribe to your email list, you can always contact no matter what. There's no chance of it being taken away from you by the platform that you're on. Connected to this is reason number two, going back to social media. If you're depending solely on a social media platform, that means you're dependent solely on the algorithm from that platform. The algorithm can basically choose who it shows your content to and who it doesn't. Even if people have liked and followed your account on social media, it doesn't mean that they're being shown every single piece of content that you put out there. So you're sort of just at the mercy of the algorithm on that platform and hoping that you put out a piece of content that gets shown to most of your followers. With email, you don't have to worry about depending on any kind of algorithm. You can be confident that when you send your email, it's going to be delivered and put into the inbox of that person that you sent it to every time you send something out. Now, whether or not you've optimized that email correctly and well enough to be actually delivered to their inbox and not their spam folder is a completely different story and there's strategy that goes into that. But I love that with email marketing, it's so much more reliable and you know that your emails and your content that you're sending out is going to be delivered to every single lead. Studies have also shown time and time again that email marketing trumps the other forms of digital marketing like marketing on social media when it comes to open rates, click-through rates, and purchase rates. As outdated or boring as email may sound, it's still the first thing on people's minds. It's the first thing that most people check when they wake up in the morning and it's still proven and backed by data and research studies to be the number one form of effective digital marketing. So what does this mean for Etsy sellers? Well, unfortunately, Etsy does not allow Etsy sellers to have an automated system of collecting the emails from people that purchase from you and adding them to your email list. So you sort of have to go about this in a roundabout way to be building your list off of Etsy and then using strategic parts of your Etsy shop to promote that email list and have people that visit your shop voluntarily sign up for your email list on their own. So I know it may sound a little bit complicated, but let's go ahead and dive into the steps for how to do this. So step number one, is to create your lead magnet. If you've never heard of a lead magnet before, this is something that you're going to offer to people for free. It's basically a free incentive that you're offering in exchange for them signing up for your email list. Remember, people have to voluntarily go and sign up. And a lot of times now, people don't want to just be receiving tons of promotional emails. So people are a lot more picky with what they sign up for voluntarily in terms of email newsletters. So while years ago, it may have worked to just have a little spot on your site that said, sign up for my newsletter here, that doesn't really work anymore. Now people are looking for incentives 
incentives or rewards or freebies that they can grab in exchange for giving their email address out. So there are a lot of different types of lead magnets and different types work better for different types of businesses. But in general, for product-based businesses, we're thinking of something like a coupon code, a discount code, a free shipping code, something that they can use immediately on their next purchase. Now you could also think of things like PDF resources, like maybe a guide of some sort that relates to your product type, maybe a checklist or a cheat sheet, something that they can instantly download that would be a helpful resource to them. That can also be a lead magnet, but there are a lot of different kinds. And so it's good to think about and research the different types of lead magnets and decide what sort of freebie you could offer that would be really helpful and valuable to your audience. Something that would be a no brainer for people to say, of course, I want that for free. Give it to me now. Here's my email address. I actually have a whole list of lead magnet ideas for you. If you are stuck on this, if you just don't know what to offer, then you can click the link in the description box below for that free list of lead magnet or freebie ideas. Hopefully that'll be able to get you started and spark some ideas for you. All right. Step number two is to decide on a landing page and email service provider. So you need to have a landing page. A landing page is a really simple one website page that is there for the sole purpose of delivering your lead magnet to the person that signs up to your email list. It hosts a simple form where it's asking for that person's first name and email. Most of the time you can customize that to ask for more information, but most of the time we want to keep it as easy and simple as possible for people to sign up. So give me your first name, give me your email address, click the sign up button and your freebie will be delivered to you instantly. Now there are platforms that you would sign up to that you can build a landing page like this on that are in conjunction with an email service provider. So sometimes you can do these separately on different platforms and link them, but I personally recommend using a platform that does both so they can be more organically integrated, your landing page, your form to sign up, and your email list on your email service provider. My personal favorite that I've used that does both together is ConvertKit, and you can try out ConvertKit for free. They have different tier plans, but I'll have that free trial of ConvertKit linked in the description box below as well if you think you'd like to try that out for your landing pages and your email. Now your email service provider is where you're actually going to be hosting and collecting and building that list. So it's going to retain all your contacts that sign up for your list. And then you'll be able to actually communicate through email as often as you want to your list through that email service provider. So once you've chosen what platform you want to use for both of those, then step number three is to create your landing page. So like I mentioned before, a landing page is just simple. It's not a full website. It's one simple page that you're just setting up with that form to ask for the information information. And then inside of your landing page software or your email service provider, if they're the same thing, then you would be able to build out that landing page to make it look how you want to set it up to ask for the specific information that you want. And then you can also set up auto delivery of whatever that lead magnet is. So as soon as someone signs up through your landing page, they get automatically delivered whatever that freebie is either through an automatic email that you've set up to send to them immediately after or a confirmation page with a button on it that they can click to download. If it's like a PDF guide or something, they can download that. If it's just, let's say a discount code that you've set up in your Etsy shop to offer, then you can just easily put that code on the confirmation page for them to use. There are several different ways to do this, but you just want to make sure that that freebie, whatever it is, is automatically set up to deliver as soon as they sign up to your list. Little side tip here to up level your professionalism on this is that you can actually purchase a custom domain name through a website like GoDaddy and then set that up to redirect to your landing page. So when you're sharing about your freebie with people, you can give a simple, easy to remember URL as opposed to having something long and jumbled and complicated like the default one that might generate. All right, once you have your landing page all set up and ready to go, then step number four is to promote your freebie. So at this point, your mission is to share about this freebie anywhere and everywhere that you can, that you interact with people. You can do this on social media, but you you can also do this in strategic parts of your Etsy shop. So the key here is we're not saying something like sign up for my newsletter here. We're saying something like sign up here and grab 15% off your next purchase or sign up here and get my free quick start checklist. We're mentioning that freebie and that they can instantly get value from it if they just quickly sign up. So the way we do this is we're going to get the URL or the link for that landing page, whether it's the default one that was automatically generated with your landing page provider or whether you purchased a custom one on GoDaddy and set it up to redirect whatever that URL that you want to share with people that's going to lead them to your landing page. That's the link we're posting anywhere and everywhere we can. So a few of the best places to put this inside of your Etsy shop would be your shop announcement at the top of your Etsy shop. That's one of the first things that people read when they land on your shop. So you can talk about your freebie there and put the link there. You can put it in your about section. I'd also say to put it in every single listing description underneath the actual description itself. You can say, hey, grab my quick start guide here 
here or grab 15% off your purchase here and put your landing page URL there. In addition to being in the listing description, you can also create an infographic to take up one of the photo slots in every single listing as well. You can show a mock-up of your freebie, whatever that is, or talk about the fact that you offer a discount code and you can put the link. Now remember, the link won't be clickable because it's in an image, but you can actually put the link so they can type it in themselves on a separate tab, or you can put a note on that image that says something like see description for link. This way they can go over to the description and easily copy and paste that link. You can also add this in your thank you notes to your customers. Of course, you want to shout it from the rooftops if you're on social media. So if you're on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, you want to talk about it wherever you might have an audience. The more you can talk about and share about and promote this freebie, the quicker your email list will start building up and the sooner you can start promoting to those email leads about sales or discounts or anything that you have going on. All right, so once you have all of the preliminary setup pretty much done, then the last thing you wanna make sure that you have set up in the beginning is a welcome sequence. So step number five is to set up your welcome sequence. One amazing thing about a lot of these email service providers is that they offer the ability to set up an email sequence, which is just a grouping of a few different emails in a row that are set to go out on certain days, and you can set it up for automatic delivery. So it's not like you're having to manually go in and welcome every single person that signs up for your list. If you're thinking about it far enough ahead of time, you can set up a welcome sequence that'll be automatically delivered. So it could be a sequence of three or four emails that are delivered on day one, day three, day five, day seven. You can set it up really however you want, but your welcome sequence is intended to grab that subscriber's attention from the moment they sign up to your list and to show them right from the get-go that you're going to be a great person to be subscribed to, that you're going to be providing them some awesome value through your emails, and you you want them to start interacting with you and getting used to receiving emails on a regular basis so that your brand stays on top of mind for them. The last thing we want to do is to get a bunch of people on our email list and then just completely neglect it and never talk to those people. So an automated welcome sequence set up beforehand is a great way for you to be able to onboard the people into your email list that are signing up without you having to do a lot of extra work and manually reaching out to everyone. So once you have your welcome sequence ready to go, you've been promoting your freebie. And step number six is to send out emails to your list regularly. So this is the ongoing, really important step of just continuing to nurture and communicate with your list regularly. So you want to decide on a cadence that works for you. It could be weekly. It could be bi-weekly. You just want to decide on that and be consistent with it so that you're reaching out and communicating with your audience on a regular basis. Your email content can be a mixture of different types of things. It can be educational or value content. It can be new product line announcements. It can be promotional. It could be behind the scenes. It could be personal stories. It's great to offer sort of a mix of different types of content so your audience doesn't feel like you're just selling, selling, selling to them all the time, but you want to be engaging them and building that know, like, and trust factor so that when you do put out a promotional email, they'll be in the habit of loving to open and read your emails anyway, so you'll have a high click-through rate and probably a high purchase rate at that point. As long as you continue to be consistent with this and really lean into your email marketing, it can become a pillar of your business and truly make such a difference in terms of sales and building your audience. Now, I know you may be thinking, I have no clue where to even start with this lead magnet thing. I don't even know what to offer. What are the different types of lead magnets? So just remember, I have that free list to get you started. It's linked in the description box below. Just click on that. You'll have a whole list of ideas for freebies that you could offer, and you can go through and decide what might be best for your business. Now, if you are just starting on Etsy, or maybe you've been on Etsy and just haven't seen a lot of momentum yet, then I have a video on the top two most important things, in my opinion, that you need to focus on to really grow your Etsy shop. So if you're interested in that, that, you can click on the square on the screen right now, and that'll take you over to watch my video, which is the top two most important things you need in your Etsy shop. Talk soon, friends.